Hi there, welcome to Savap. I'm Ivan and in this video I'm going to be explaining how to create a table to sort and display BIM properties with Power BI using the Savap app BIM dataset and the matrix Power BI visual. Now Savap provides you with loads of templates in our freemium plan. But if you really want to get most out of it, then you should sign up with one of our expert plans where you can access all of the features and have the ability to create your own templates. If you already have a freemium plan, then you can very quickly upgrade to an expert plan by simply clicking on upgrade your plan when your limit is reached. Now let's start creating our custom dashboard by creating a blank Savap template. First of all, sign into your account on the Savap app. Now go to the create dashboard button and click on it. Then click on start at the bottom. At the top of the page you'll see a progress bar. This is simply showing you where you are in this creation process. Now click on select project and here you click on select existing project. I'm going to just select this sample project right here right now and then I click OK. Then click next. So now we need to select our blank Savap template, which is this one right here called BIM IFC start and then press next. The project and the template are now loaded into the wizard. Now the wizard has moved onto the next stage, select BIM models. Select the BIM model that you want to use. You can actually upload several BIM models at the same time, which allows you to merge them together and essentially simplify everything in your dashboard. Next, click on get your dashboards and save your ready to use dashboard template on your computer. Now let's open up Microsoft Power BI desktop. This application is free to use. You'll find the link below in the description. So head over there and download it if you haven't got it yet. Now go to file and select browse this device. Set up the extension file as PBIT, which is the Power BI template file and not the PBIX, which is for the Power BI project file. Select the file you just downloaded from the Savap app and press open. Now the file will be set up. And if you click on load, this will start to load the document into Power BI, which may actually take a little while. Now, in order to start working on the template, we need to save it as PBIX file, the project file, remember? So go to file, then save as, and make sure that the extension is set as PBIX and then press save. Okay, so I've already added visuals onto this dashboard for a building spatial tree, filtering per level and counting the number of beam properties. If you'd like to see how to create these, then quickly check out one of our tutorials, but maybe wait until this video is finished. I'll put the links into the description below. Now, before we add our visual, I'm going to delete this notice here that we have over here. So just click on the three dots to bring up the menu and then click on remove. And that will clear this area ready for us to add in more visuals. Now to add in the matrix, go over to the visualization pane on the right hand side and click on matrix, then resize it and move it just like so. We're going to use the WT properties to populate this visual with data. So head over to the left hand side and click on table view. Then scroll down the data pane and click on WT properties. Now you can see the IFC properties sets here. We have name, which typically refers to unique identifier or title given to a property set. Then we also have property set, which is a collection or a group of properties within IFC. This serves as a container that groups together related properties that describe aspects or characteristics of an object in the building model. We also have value. This is the specific data or information assigned to a particular property within the property set. So now you know where the information is coming from. Let's go back into the report view by clicking on the report icon on the left. Now let's add in our data to the visual. Make sure the matrix is selected. Drop down the menu on WT properties and drag and drop into rows on the visualization pane. First value followed by name and then property set name. Now go to WT assets and drop down the menu, scroll to object type and drag that over to rows. 
and put it just above value. This will allow us to delve even deeper into this data. Now we're going to add a column into the matrix to be able to count the number of properties as well. So go to WT properties again and name over to values under columns. Then drop down the menu here for options and choose count. Now resize the table to tidy the dashboard up and leave space for other visualizations. Now we can see the list of properties in the matrix. So if I simply click on one of these and then go to the update button, then our 3D beam viewer will update to navigate to the highlighted object. You can now access any beam properties within the model within just a few simple clicks, making your entire beam process far more efficient than ever before. Now we need to save our Power BI custom dashboard as a template file with the extension PBIT. To do this, go to File, Save As, and then enter the name. Make sure that you've selected the Power BI template file, the PBIT, and then press Save. Now let's upload our new template file into the Savap app. So to do this, we open up the app and go to Dashboard Templates. Then click on the Upload Dashboard Template button over here. Now remember, like I said earlier, this feature is only available with one of our expert plans. So if you're still on a freemium plan, then you'll need to upgrade your account right now. So let's click on data source. Now scroll down the list and check off all of the groups of tables under BIM and the BIM 3D option so that you get 3D BIM models as well. Now add the name of your template and a description. You can also choose a language or add a cover image if you want. Then just click on the attach file icon and choose local source. Go to the folder and click on your custom template file then press open. This takes us back to our wizard and we simply click on create. Our new custom dashboard template is immediately uploaded and ready to use. Now, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. This is our penultimate episode in this series. If you like any more information about this web app or if you have any questions, then please do not hesitate to contact us. You can either drop us a comment below or reach to us via our email through our website, which I will include in the description below as well. Until next time.